The O365 landscape of today has grown more and more complex with many organizations managing multiple O365 tenants. To help with this, many of these companies are using Microsoft guest accounts. This flow template is designed to help you manage these guest accounts. Once you have this flow down, adding a second or a third can be used to manage guest accounts across many O365 tenants. So let's take a look at the first card in this flow. The first card in this flow is the Okta user added to group card. What this does is it triggers our flow when a user is added to a group in Okta. This card is important because it gives us the group name as well as the user information. We'll use this information later in our flow. Next up is the continue if card, which is one of the many built-in workflow functions. Because the user added to group card can trigger when any user is added to a group, we use the continue if card to check the group name. And if the group name matches the group name of the correct O365 guest group, then we'll continue this flow. Once we verify that this is the correct group and the flow is continued, we move on to the Okta read user card. The user information we received from the user added to group card has some information about the user, but not everything we need. So we need to use the read card to get a full read of the user's profile. We do that using the Okta ID that came in for our user from the user added to group card. Once we have a full read of a user's profile, we can use their display name and email address in the next card, which is the O365 create guest user card. You can see that we've already mapped the fields and we've set the invited user type to guests, which will create the user as a guest. Once a user is created, we want them to be visible in the address book. To do this, we need to use a custom API action and the Microsoft Graph API. Before we get there, we need to first compose the endpoint that we're gonna to connect to for this specific user. To do that, we use the compose card. Here we simply typed forward slash users forward slash. Then using the response from the create guest user, we drug in the invited user ID, which is their object ID from O365. Now that we have the endpoint we're gonna hit, we use the custom API action card. This particular card is gonna perform a patch for our user. And in the body field, we add in what we're setting. And as you can see here, we're setting the show in address list option to true. And that's the entire flow. Now that we have this flow built, all we have to do is turn it on and test it out. To test this, we'll first head over to Okta and find my test user. His name's Joel Pearson, and his username is Jay Pearson. I'm gonna add Joel to the O365 user group. Once that's done, I can jump over to the workflow, and here I'll hit flow history so I can see each step of the flow. Starting on the left, we can see the user added to group card shows all the data from the event that triggered this flow. On the continue if card, we can see the value that came in from the event matched the value we specified in the card, so the flow continued. Next, in the read user card, we can see the user ID is now populated from the event that triggered this flow. And in the response of the read card, we can see Joel's first name, last name, email, and display name. Next up is our create guest user card. You can see the user's email address was mapped from the read card. And in the response of this card, we can see the user's O365 user ID was returned. That user ID was then used on the compose card where we compose the endpoint for our custom API action. In the custom API action, we can see that the output is now mapped to our relative URL. And if we look at the status code we received back from the custom API action, we see a 204 response, which means it was successful, but no content was returned. Now, if we jump over to Azure AD and take a peek at the users, we'll search for Jay Pearson, and here in the results, you can see the user does exist and is a guest user. Now that you've seen how to create a single flow for creating a guest account, you can use this same template to create multiple flows for various different O365 tenants. For more information on the O365 Workflow Connector, be sure to check out learn.workflows.octa.com.